Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from BIWay. If you're finding us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. In this new video, we will see how to handle errors using try expression in Power Query. So let's get started. Sometimes when you import your data in Power Query or when you enter a name code formula, you get error messages. In fact, an error in Power Query M formula language is an indication that the process of evaluating an expression could not produce a value. Let's see an example by importing some sales data from a CSV file. We select transform data. In this file, we have product subcategory, date, and sales amount. And as you can see just below the column sales amount, we have this read bar which indicates that there are errors in this column. Let's close and apply. This window indicates that we have this number of rows loaded and 7 errors. By clicking on view errors, Power Query opens and we find a query in a folder named Query Errors which contains the rows with errors. Let's say we want to give this report to user in order to correct data. So one way to handle errors is by using the try expression. Using it, it will convert errors into a record value. A simple way to use it is to add a new custom column We enter try, space, and then the column sales amount. So the result is a record. Let's expand it. We get a has error column and an error record. Let's also expand it. we get new columns like reason, message, and detail. Let's now clean the table, keeping only the important columns. Ok, nice. We have the detail column which contains the original value and the error message in the message column. Like that, we have a global view about our data errors. One last thing before applying the changes, is that we need to enable load of the query so that we can create visuals using this query. Let's now close and apply. Now we can create our visuals. Let us add quickly some visuals. What we can display in our report, for example, is the sales data in a table. Then we can add other visuals to give an idea about the rows with errors. This is one way to highlight the errors in the data. 
So that's it for this video. I hope you understand how we can use try expression to handle errors. If you have any questions, post them in the comment below. And if you liked the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. See you in the next video.